All right, so the A's lost their ninth consecutive game as they opened up a new series against the Cleveland Guardians, losing by a final score of 8-4. to four. And they really should have had this game. They led, you know, pretty early on in this game. Then Cleveland fought back. Then the A's, you know, eventually got the lead again. But Cleveland had a four-run eighth inning. And Lou Trevino, you know, I don't know why Lou Trevino is still getting playing time for the A's. He hasn't done anything for us all year. And he blew an opportunity to get a win and snap this losing streak, possibly. But instead, you know, it was just a loss. James Caprillion was on the mound starting for the A's. Didn't do too good. Um, you know, I, I feel like Caprillion, I hate to say it, he's kind of don gone downhill um, in terms of his production and, you know, the quality of his starts. Um, and the uh, the Guardians had uh, uh, Pillington, Pilkington, and uh, he, you know, he had a pretty bad game, honestly. So I thought the A's might take advantage of that. He allowed four runs, but let's get into how these uh, runs, you know, came about. So, yeah, the A's, you know, obviously... Uh, got the game started with Bethancourt. Uh, he got a two-run homer in the top of the second inning, and uh, that made it two nothing A's. Bethancourt, you know, I got to give him credit. You know, I know he's obviously um, career-wise not been the best player, but he got you know a second homer and he's been playing better lately. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good. And that was a five-game drought for the A's leading up to this, where they didn't have a homer. So that snapped the five-game drought streak of the A's not having a homer in a game. So Bethancourt snapped that. Um, Eventually, Jose Ramirez, though, did get a home run for Cleveland. Uh, he led off the fourth inning, and that made it 2-1. Uh, then Josh Naylor for Cleveland as well hit a long bomb, um, and that made it a tied game. So that tied, you know, two solo homers. Josh Naylor ties the game up. Uh, so, yeah, back-to-back -back homers, and uh, that was, you know, definitely a momentum shift at that point. Seth Brown did get the A's, though, back in front with a two-run double. Uh, to straightaway center field, and at that point, I was like, okay, maybe the A's, you know, have what it takes to win this game and snap the losing streak, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. Um, you know, it all started with uh, Puck pitching, and uh, he got on, ba uh, he, you know, it was an error, and, you know, started out a big inning for the uh, Cleveland Guardians. They eventually scored, and they kind of fought back in this game. Um, so, yeah, when it was all said and done, you know, the Guardians kind of just took advantage of poor play by the A's, um, and, uh, you know, they, the Guardians had good defensive plays as well. So, yeah, um, with Trevino pitching, uh, the Guardians got a go-ahead single in the bottom of the eighth inning, and that made it five to, or that made it six to four eventually, and then they tacked on more. It was a bunt um, little error that the A's made, and, uh, you know, they really screwed it up. Uh, the A's just, you know, didn't have what it took to win this game because they, they choked at the end of the game. Um, Richie, uh, Richie Palacio got a double as well, and that made it eight to four eventually. So, you know, the Guardians just kind of sealed the deal with that. But you know, it is what it is. We're I, I can't be mad at the losses anymore because there's just so many of them. I've sort of just accepted the fact that every game is probably going to be a loss, um, which is kind of sad. But the Guardians, you know, they had 14 hits in this game. The A's pitching was, you know, pretty much just demolished. They had no answer. Lou Trevino. 0.1 innings and he allows four runs and I don't know why like I said I don't know why he's still pitching for us on a pretty regular basis uh Caprillion like I said not a great start AJ Puck and Zach Jackson allowed runs as well um so the A's just all sorts of problems ninth loss in a row I mean you can't get much worse than that this A's team is the worst we've seen in a while um and we sit at you know the bottom of the division and 17 games back of Houston um so it just goes to show you know, we're not even halfway, not even close to halfway done with the season. If you put it in perspective, and the A's are already looking like they're eliminated with a 339 win percentage. So, yeah, guys, the A's will play two more against Cleveland um, in this series. The Cleveland, in, uh, Cleveland Guardians, rather, they, you know, have had an answer for us all season. We haven't beaten them yet through, I believe, four contests. So, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on this. The Guardians win 8-4. to four. The A's move to 20-39. and 39. The Guardians move to 27-26. and 26. So I'll see you guys later. And, yeah, go A's.